If you've been into the central city recently in Christchurch, you'll have noticed that there's a lot of activity happening. And part of that activity is, is the changes to the transport network that are going on. The Christchurch City Council, together with CIRA, have a program of works known as Accessible City. And the Inaccessible City is a series of projects that are being rolled out over the next few years. And the story really started here at the intersection of Morehouse Avenue and Lincoln Road. And I just want to take you through a little bit of that story today, explaining the reasons for the changes and how they affect you, whether you choose to ride your bike, walk into the central city, catch a bus, or drive your car. We changed the intersection about a year ago and uh, we closed the entrance to Hagley Avenue. And there was a number of reasons why we did this. This is one of the busiest parts of the transport network in Christchurch, carrying up to 44,000 vehicles a day. And so it's a busy part of the network. But one of the interesting things that we've done is introduced it to some cycle facilities that allows you as a cyclist, you're coming from the southwest corner of the city, to cross on your own dedicated phase and get in and connect to the shared path facility for cycling through Hagley Park. It's a real good outcome for cyclists and it's just one part of the story that we're rolling out across the city. One of the key principles for an accessible city is making travel into the central city more efficient for vehicles. By closing Hagley Avenue at the intersection with Morehouse and Lincoln, we've been able to close Oxford Terrace here. This used to carry 15 to 20,000 vehicles a day and the vehicles that used to use this one-way street into the central city now either use Chewham Street or Morehouse to access the central city. And that means that we can reprioritize those streets or make them more efficient by resequencing the signals to get better progression. And that's a better outcome for vehicles. It also means that we can reprioritize spaces such as Oxford Terrace for cyclists and pedestrians. It makes for a lot more balanced central city transport network. One of the key challenges for an accessible city is fitting all the modes that want to access the central city into one corridor. And Tuam Street is a great example of that. Through the Accessible City Plan, Tuam Street has been prioritised for both buses, general vehicles and cyclists. And fitting all those three modes in one corridor is actually quite a challenge. Now we've done that on Tuam Street by removing the parking largely. And that's allowed us to develop or deliver a fully separated cycleway. So cyclists have a very safe, separated, very efficient line of movement along this corridor. We've also delivered priority for buses because they get that advanced bus light from the superstop at the hospital and then progression down the corridor right the way into the new bus interchange. And this is really good outcome for buses along this corridor and also vehicles get priority because they're progressed through well sequenced sets of signals along the corridor. The separated cycle lane on Tuam Street offers really good protection and safety for cyclists heading from Hagley Park and the hospital to the west of the city in CPIT and the Innovation Precinct. And here at the bus interchange, there's dedicated signal phasing to keep buses turning left into the, into the interchange, separate from cyclists who are heading straight through. And the interchange itself is a great example of providing exceptional facilities for all modes, whether you're a pedestrian accessing the rest of the city, coming out of the bus interchange, whether you're a bus user or a cyclist using one of the hundred covered cycle racks into the interchange itself. The intersection of Colombo Street and Litchfield Street is a natural focus of activity for pedestrians, cyclists and vehicles. And it's only going to get busier over the next few years as the bus interchange gets busier and the retail precinct really takes hold. The Inaccessible City Plan recognises that Colombo Street and Litchfield Street aren't major through routes for vehicles and that's allowed us to prioritise or give greater priority to pedestrians and cyclists and we do that through design elements such as raising the intersection crossing points uh, for pedestrians so it's a flush crossing they don't have to step off curbs, introducing countdown timers which is a new thing for Christchurch and also providing an all movement pedestrian face so all pedestrians get to cross at the same time. We've also introduced design elements for cyclists such as the new Copenhagen style bike lane. Not fully separated, but slight separation that gives that level of safety and comfort for cyclists. It's new to Christchurch, maybe new to New Zealand, Copenhagen style cycle lanes. And you know, as we go forward over the next few years, we'll be rolling out more projects under the Inaccessible City program that will see Christchurch become, or central Christchurch become a more accessible place for all people, no matter how you choose to travel to the central city.